Hey guys, and welcome back today for a brand new video. We are going to be talking about the Frosted Flakes collection from Glam Light today. I'm really excited to dive into this collection with you. It's a fun one, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so if you have not seen this yet, it's so cute. It's from Glam Light. It's their Frosted Flakes collection, and I actually purchased this myself. I know I'm a little late to getting this video up. Uh, I was on vacation when this came in, and I still wanted to get it out because I feel like the collection's really fun, and I thought you guys might enjoy this one. This is my second time purchasing from Glam Light. I do own the Michaela palette but that's the only thing I've tried from the brand so I was kind of curious on their other formulas and they had some lip products in this collection their highlighter so I was kind of curious to try some other products from the brand aside from their eyeshadows so I was looking forward to you know kind of testing the brand out as a whole as well as this collection because I feel like it's so fun I love satisfying stuff I love stuff that looks cute and I feel like this kind of goes hand in hand with that so let's first talk about the eyeshadow palette it does come in this cereal carton which is just so cute it literally says we're here to look great <laughs> which is so fun. Um, you have like the ingredients on here, fun facts, there's stuff on the back. It's just a really, really fun little package here. So that does come um, with your palette on the inside. So this is a look at the palette here. Still very cute. It has the whole Frosted Flakes look to it. And then it says, we're sure you'll look great there on the back as well. I like that the palette matches the cereal carton. Um, with that, if you wanted to just open it on the bottom, that's a way to kind of preserve your cereal box because if you do break this seal, then you're going to like not be able to put it back in the box so just a little tip there if you want to do that but here is a look at the inside of the palette lots of blues in here obviously it's going to go with the theme we've got some oranges and a couple of golds and coppers I think this is a really really pretty palette I love the look of it you guys know I love blues so for me this is something I was interested in you also have the um, tiger there Tony the tiger on the front with the frosted flakes as well really cute there as well it does come with 15 different shades a mix of mattes and shimmers and you guys will see how I got this eye look here in a second but let me show you swatches of the palette here is a quick look at all of the swatches they swatched really nicely all of the shimmers seem very foiled I like that you have like that one row that is more of just like the oranges copper and then you kind of lean into those shimmery blues and then you also get your matte um, blues there as well as the black in the palette so nice pigmentation there on those they performed really nicely on the eyes I was impressed with the pigment on everything next in the collection there is the frosted flakes highlight and this is so cute it comes in like a little milk carton it's a loose highlighter again the you're looking great and um, really cute here it has the tiger there bring out the tiger in you this is adorable again I did open it on the bottom there to kind of preserve the box and then the actual highlight looks like a cereal um a bowl of cereal so really cute there it has the frosted flakes on the top and it's just white and it has the Kellogg's there and then this is a loose highlighter so you do have here the loose highlight it has all the little holes that you can pull it out of and then let me show you guys a swatch of it so giving it a swatch here I would describe this as like a champagne um like icy white kind of has a very like white look to it but it still has a hint of champagne it's definitely a glittery highlight I am wearing it right now it has a lot of shine very pigmented but it definitely has you know a quite a bit of glitter reflex to it so if that's not something you're super into might not love this one but pigmentation is definitely there a little it's going to go a long way with this highlight for sure I just think it complements the palette nicely though it kind of goes obviously with the theme of the blue and then the fact that it's supposed to be the milk highlight I feel like really works okay and then lastly in the collection there are two different lip bundles these are so so stinking cute so we have the frosted flakes tough the tiger lip kit so this is the tiger one here is a look at the back and this is the tony kit so you're going to have the tiger look to this one the inside here you're getting a lip liner and then also a matte lipstick which really cool is this actually feels like it's like wooden packaging maybe it's plastic but it kind of feels like wood um I don't know that I've ever felt a packaging like this it's interesting to me but here is a look at the color of the lipstick so it is a nude lip and I did apply it in this video so you guys will see it on my lips in a second here but looks really nice I really like the color of this one and then it also has a correlating lip liner as well there's a lip liner right next to the lipstick there so you guys can see so it is a more brown toned lip liner and then you also have the second set this is the frosted lip kit so this one has again Tony there as well and this is gonna be your lip gloss I have it on my lips right now love the packaging on this gloss I think it is so so cute I love that it's like frosted really pretty packaging here we have the frosted flakes on the top and then you have the matching lip liner again so this lip liner actually looks pretty similar to the first one I don't even know maybe they might be the same shade 
Uh, it's a tinge lighter, it looks like, barely lighter. So they're pretty close in color. Um, it actually looks really similar to the color of the lipstick, but you could wear it with both the gloss and also the lipstick. And then for the lip gloss, it is a doe foot applicator, a little bit of a point there, and then you have the lip gloss. So this is definitely, again, very shiny, very glittery. It kind of matches the highlights and also the shimmers in the palette, kind of going with the milk theme. Um, very shiny there. Again, I have it on my lips right now. It feels pretty comfortable on not overly um, gritty at all which is nice. So that is a look at the swatches and the collection as a whole. I did purchase it as a PR bundle so I was able to get the entire collection. You can also purchase the items individually. I will have them linked down below. I do have a friend Karen Harris who does have a coupon code with them so if you want to check out her code I will link that down below as well. That's what I used to purchase and now we're going to go ahead and start with showing you the demo on the products and how they all worked on the base. Go ahead and start on my eyes first. I've got you zoomed in so you guys can see nice and close we're gonna go into our frosted flakes palette I'm so excited I can't wait to have a fun blue look with this one I'm first gonna go into the shade so tasty right here I love that there's also a mirror on this palette and I'm just gonna start to blend this shade into my crease obviously we're gonna have like an orangey blue look going on and I'm excited about that the only palette I've ever tried from glam light is actually the Michaela palette and I really did like the pigmentation of everything. I feel like the eyeshadows are really, really easy to blend in her palette as well. So I have high hopes that I'll enjoy this formula. I'm assuming that's their typical formula that was in her palette. But you never know because sometimes, you know, it can vary. But I'm hoping to have a good application process with this. We're going to go ahead and deepen that up here with this shade called Crunchy in the corner. This one is a brown matte and I'm just going to deepen this area just before I start going in with any of my blues. I am using a ColourPop brush. This is their E2 brush. I love their brushes. I have been telling you guys for so long that I just feel like they have one of the best, um, best affordable brush options right now. I feel like they're really great high quality brushes. I am an affiliate with um, ColourPop now too which is really exciting for me so if you ever want to shop Anything at ColourPop, um, I do have a $5 off $25 purchase. That code is just Makeup Molly 5 and it will get you the $5 off. Okay, pigmentation is definitely there right now with these two shades. I'm loving it so far. Let's go ahead and start in the blues. So I think I'm going to do, like, I'm going to use all the shades. I'm going to try to anyways. So we're going to next go into the shade right here called Teamwork. And I'm going to actually just take that, I think, right now on the same brush. And I'm going to start to bring in some of the blue shades. You can probably hear my son in the background. He has got Paw Patrol on. I feel like sometimes that's the only way I can film nowadays. So I'm just going to bring this blue shade here and just focus it right on this outer corner. And I'm sticking with the same brush. I'm going to switch to a smaller one though in a second. Okay, so now that we've got that shade there, we're going to actually just keep going. This is the shade Classic right here. And I'm going to further deepen up that blue, ooh, that is pigmented, oh my gosh. Wow, that is really neon, like, that is a pigmented blue. I, it's been a while since you guys have put blue on my eyes. There's just something about it, I just love it so, so much. Okay, that shade is nice, really nice, very pigmented. Um, I kind of just did like a tapping motion. I switched to this Huda Beauty, this is her eye contour and blend brush. And then we're gonna deepen it up on the outer edge with a little bit of the Go Getter shade. And that one I'm kind of just going to focus just right in here, a little bit where I put that first shade. And just kind of darken that area just a little bit. Give a little more dimension to the look. Grab that first brush and kind of just lightly buff those shades together just so we don't have any harsh lines going on. But so far, blendability is definitely there with this palette. Really nice. I'm very happy with the shades I've used so far. Now we're going to pop on some shimmers. So for that, we're definitely going to go with the blues in the palette. Um, first, let's go into the shade Frosted. This is the one that I think looks the prettiest. We're going to go into that shade. Very, very pretty. Ooh, that is a nice color. I like that. Okay, so we're going to do Frosted first. And I'm just going to try out, honestly, as many as I can, just because... I want to see how they all perform. So got that shade on. Let's go ahead next and take a Sweet Spark, this one here. And I'm just going to deepen that a little bit. We'll go a little more closer on the eye. Ooh, I like that color. I don't know if it's going to be easy for you guys to tell just because you have the other color, but look at that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that is pretty. And then let's go ahead and go into Milk. 
this like brighter color. I love that they named it that. It's kind of like a little bit of like a white green it looks like. And I'm gonna put that on my inner corner. My nails are really long right now. I have a nail appointment scheduled to get them trimmed because it's getting kind of hard to do stuff with them, but I'll try my best to get in here. I might have to grab a brush. But I kind of like like that fade of the different color blues. And then I'm gonna go into breakfast time here and I'm gonna add a little bit of that just so we have a nice gradient. I'm gonna put that a little bit right in here so we have a little bit of shimmer kind of all over. Okay, this is gorgeous. I love, love these shimmers. They are pretty. Okay, let's do some lower lash line work now. I'm gonna go into the shade Teamwork here in the corner and I'm just gonna start to buff that down here on the lower lash. I'm thinking I'm gonna do kind of smoky probably. I have a little bit of that um, blue shade still on this brush, so we're kind of gonna just smoke it, smoke it out and bring it down quite a bit. I'm gonna actually use an eyeliner first. This is from the Airbender Collection, also with ColourPop. This is the Avatar Lip uh, Eye Pencil, and this is in the shade Making Waves. So I'm actually gonna apply this shade to my waterline just to give us a little bit of something in there before I do the inner corner portion. Okay, that shade actually matched perfectly. I love this, I've been using it a bunch. So next, I'm going to add a little bit to my inner corner, but I wanna keep that like lighter, so I think I'm gonna just go in with that milk shade. I'm just gonna grab my line definer. This is from my Doll 10 Club, and I'm just going to brush that right here in the inner corner and kind of bring it into the other shades we have there, just so it kind of matches what we have going on on the lid. Okay, this is cute. I like this a lot. All right, we're gonna go ahead now and add some, I don't know, it's like I need lashes. I feel like I need lashes. I'm gonna add some and then we'll do the um, highlighter, which I'm super excited about, and then the lips. Okay, we are all zoomed out now. Love the way this eye look turned out. I did end up adding a little bit of wing liner as well. I feel like I wish I wouldn't have rounded this if I was gonna do the wing liner. But that's okay. I feel like it looks really nice. These lashes too, I feel like were giving me a hard time as well, but it's all good. I really, really like the way that the blues are like contrasting each other. I think it's really pretty. We're now going to try out the highlighter from the collection. This is so freaking cute. Only con I have is like, why isn't this packaging like to where you can reopen it? Because it looks like once you break this seal, like the milk portion of it is going to be bad. So what I saw is you could actually undo the bottom. Just if you wanted to keep this, if you didn't want to keep it, then you know, it's not a big deal. But if you did, you could just undo this bottom part and then um, take it out that way. And then that way you could like put it back in. But how adorable is this? I cannot. So, so funny and cute. Um, we're going to go ahead and try this out now on the face. Loose highlighter I like, but I don't always love. So I don't know my thoughts on this yet. Um, I've never tried any of their face products before, so you know, I could love it, I could hate it, but we're gonna try it and see what we think. The last highlighter that is loose that I've used is probably the Jaclyn Cosmetics one. I do like those. Um, so let's go ahead and just take a little bit out here. It does have those little like sifters, so I'm gonna kinda shake it just a little bit to get a little bit of product out. I'm sure a little bit's probably gonna go a long way. I'm actually gonna flip the cap just so. I get a little out. I feel like loose highlights are can be a little bit messy. That's the only problem with them. Probably why I don't use them as often. It's just because they are a little bit messy. So let's go ahead and apply that. I'm using this brush from Complex Culture. This is the All Over Highlight Powder Brush. And oh, <laughs> that is glittery. Okay. Um. Hmm. See, loose glit like loose highlights. I feel like sometimes can be a little bit glittery, which is why I don't always love them. But that was like straight glitter on my face. All right, let's do a different brush. I'm gonna grab this little Jaclyn Hill one, this little like mini fan brush, and let's see if we can't dust some of that away and try to blend that out. I mean, it's pretty, but it's definitely very glittery, which isn't something I necessarily go for a ton with my highlights. I prefer something that's a little bit more, you know, everyday type of highlight, Um, which I knew this wasn't. I knew it was gonna be pretty punchy, but I didn't know how glittery it would be. But that's a little bit butter um, applied with this brush. So I would recommend using um, maybe like a little fan brush or something that's a little bit more dense. This one's kind of, you know, a little bit more packed down than the last brush is a little bit more softer. But it's definitely glittery. Like it kind of looks like I just put like glitter on my face. Um, you can see the little particles there. So 
That's probably not something I'm going to use a ton, but to be honest, I was buying this collection more just for the like look of it because I feel like it's such a fun collection. Um, I knew I wouldn't probably use the highlight a bunch, and honestly, I probably wouldn't have purchased the highlight just because loose highlights aren't something I use a ton, but because I wanted to review the entire collection, I did go ahead and grab it, um, but I wasn't, you know, I didn't have super high hopes for it just because I know it can be glittery, but it's a very, very pretty. I mean, it definitely has a lot of shine to it, a lot of glow, like we are shiny, but um, it's a targeted audience. If you like something like that, then you might like that. Obviously, packaging is so, so cute on this one. And then let's go ahead and try out the lip products. Again, I never tried any of their lip products, so I'm excited to try these and see what I think of them. So there are two different lip kits. We have the Frosted Flakes Frosted Lip Kit, and then we also have the Frosted Flakes Tough um, tiger lip kits. So very cute there. So let's go ahead and pull these out and uh, packaging everything again. So cute. So, so cute. So we have that one and then we have the blue one as well. So I think I'm going to try them both out just since we're doing this video and it isn't going to be like a super long one. We'll try them both out. So let's go ahead and go in with the tiger one first. So they do come with a lip liner and then also a lipstick. I think I showed, I'm going to show you guys um, close ups of everything in the beginning. So let's go ahead and use the lip liner. Okay. This is a wooden pencil it's honestly been a minute since I used like a wooden uh, pencil as well but we're gonna try it out I love the MAC lip liners kind of what this feels like to me it's got a nice creaminess to it so it's not overly um, hard to use so you don't have to like tug a ton so I did like that um, and then let's go ahead and try out the lipstick here all right and there is what the lipstick looks like and I think it's gonna pair really well yes with this lip liner and this is a matte lipstick. All right, I like that combo, very cute. I like the um, color of this one. I feel like I would get a lot of use out of the color. Um, so there's that combo right there. I like that it's a little bit deeper with the lip liner. So for the formula, this kind of reminds me, the way it feels in the lips right now, kind of reminds me of like the MAC Powder Kiss. Like it has that like velvety, soft feel to it. Like it's not overly matte. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be really drying on my lips. Um, it just has like a cushiony feel to it. So if you ever tried the matte powder kiss um, or you've ever tried any of like those like pillowy type of feeling, um, that's what it feels like to me if you haven't tried this formula before. Um, it feels comfortable. It feels nice. I feel like I might like wearing this um, because it's not overly matte and that sometimes is something that deters me from matte lipsticks. But I think this one is cool. I like the color. So let's now try out the um, Frosted collection as well. It can be a little challenging to wipe off lip liner, but I think I got most of it off. So this is the frosted bundle. So again, you have a lip liner and then it looks like this one has a lip gloss with it. Again, just the wooden pencil. So go ahead and apply this. Okay, this shade looks like maybe like two shades lighter than the last one. It's still going to be like a brownie um, lip liner. So we got that on and then let's go ahead now and try out the gloss. This is probably the cutest packaging in the collection was the gloss, if not the um, highlighter just because I feel like it's so fun looking. So then I'm going to go ahead and just add this straight over top. I probably could have put the lip liner all over the lips, but that's okay. We'll just add this on. It is definitely very glittery. So going to match the highlight nicely. It has a really good smell to it. It smells like really kind of like candy or something. Definitely very glittery. Um, I don't really feel too many particles though. That's something that I look for in like such a glittery lip like this is because sometimes I don't want to feel like that grit to the lips. If you have too chunky of a glitter, that can happen, but it doesn't feel like that. Um, the formula felt pretty smooth going on. I'll curious to see like how it wears and everything, but I think this would be perfect if you like that like really wet, juicy look and you want to put this just like in the center of your lips to just bring a little extra pop to your lips. I think that would be nice. I think it pairs nice with with the lip liner and then again it matches the eyes and the glitter of the highlight so I think it works well with the collection. I think it would pair really well over the lipstick as well the matte lipstick if you wanted to add just a little bit of shine to that. So this is going to be our final look using the Glam Lights Frosted Flakes collection. You guys will have to let me know down below what you think of the look we created if you ended up getting this collection. So getting into my final thoughts I think the palette for sure star of the show this was really really nice to use very, very pigmented, like overly pigmented. It was great. Um, blendability was there, definitely. Everything still looks really good. I've had this on for quite some time now. Shimmers, amazing in this. They are very, very foiled, very beautiful. The mattes performed nicely as well. So I think this is gonna be a great palette if you love blues. Um, if you love Frosted Flakes, obviously, the nostalgia of this collection is fun, but if you do really like blues, I think that you couldn't go wrong with getting this palette. I think the colors in it are really nice. I can't wait to play with this some more. And then the highlight, 
Um, I think it's cute, packaging, adorable. But uh, will I use this again? Probably, honestly not, maybe once or twice. I'll use it again, but it's probably not gonna be something I'm regularly reaching into. It's just not my preference. I feel like I don't love something as glittery as this is. I just don't feel like it's the most flattering. I don't really love having like glitter particles all over my face either. So this will be cute. I'll, I'll leave it on my vanity. It looks cute, but I don't think I'll be using that one a ton. The lip products, however, are nice. I do really like the way that they felt on the lips. I'm gonna try them out, obviously, throughout the day. I haven't tried this formula before, so I wanna see like how they wear and everything. The lip liners were nice. It's been a while since I've used a wooden lip liner, and I feel like they were creamy enough to where they didn't tug or anything like that. And then the pigmentation was there both on the lip gloss and the matte lipstick so super cute packaging again on these as well so I think if you are someone who wants you know the fun packaging that I think this collection would be for you or if you're really into blues I think the palette would be great I would be curious to know what you guys think of this do you get excited about collabs like this are you kind of over the you know like food and stuff collabs I know it's not for everyone but I thought this collection was really fun personally and I'm glad I was able to get it again I'm going to link it down below if you want to go ahead and check it out thank you as always for watching and I'll see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye friends.